All right, Cesar, we're talking about and today I'm talking about not all bars are created equal. I've talked about this topic in the past, it stands more true today as we go into rising rate uh, market. And as we know that there's a lot of options out there for a borrower, but there's also a lot of variables. And sometimes borrowers tend to think that they can get the same thing or same option as your peer group. So let's go over some of the variables that can help you make a better decision. So number one is FICO score. If your FICO score is not above a 720 in today's market, you might not be priced out as a, the same as the higher tier group, right? So that's one factor that can definitely have effect on pricing and make a big difference. Obviously, the higher the FICO score, more responsible you've been and the more likely you're going to get a better offer. Right? Number two, you have loan of value. The more money you come in with, it's obviously a better off, uh, less risk for the bank, meaning better pricing for you. Number three, you have debt to income ratios. So if your debt to income ratios are lower, that's also a factor that can have a big impact on where you stand with your options. Number four, you have cash out rate and term. Those are two big things when it comes down to where you're going to get priced out. If you're doing a cash out refinance, that's going to be hit with the higher pricing. If you're just doing a rate and term and your loan to value is low, it can definitely have a better impact or a better interest rate impact on that mortgage. Uh, another one is if it's a second home or invest, that has a big impact on it as well. Well, now your primary residence and you're buying a second home or investment, those price those get priced out a little higher than would be your uh, your primary residence. And last but not least, whether it's non-conforming or conforming, that has a big bank that can have a, a significant amount of impact on your mortgage as well and where you get priced out. So those are some of the variables. Obviously, I think there's there's probably more variables that I haven't added here, but those are some of the variables you got to look out for when you're buying a home. Please share, like, and comment. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you so much.